Hello there. In this video, we're going to look at how you can open files, Maya files, in earlier versions of the software. So for this example, I'm going to save a file in Autodesk Maya 2015, and then I'm going to attempt to open that in Maya 2013, uh, which is an issue that seems to crop up uh, quite a lot, especially at the moment, files aren't as backwards compatible as they used to be, uh, and you need to just know what you're doing to be able to get this to work. So I've just prepared a very, very simple file uh, to explain how this should work. So what I'm going to do first of all is save this file. So I'm going to go File, Save Scene As, and I'm just going to call it Test, which is already in there, and I'm going to save it onto the desktop just so I can get easy access to it. And then I'm going to click Save. So that is now saved to my desktop, and it's a 2015 file. I'm now going to go back into Maya 2015, and I'm going to attempt to open this. So file, open scene, and if I look on the desktop, it'll take me to that file. If I just try and open that, nothing happens. Okay, so you can see, although it thinks it's done something, uh, and it thinks there's a file open, actually there's, there's no geometry in the scene. So this is an error that seems to be cropping up a lot. Okay, so what I'll try and do now is I'll try and open it in a different way. So file, open scene again, but this time I'm going to tell it to ignore the version. Now this is the way that should make it work, so let's see what happens. Still nothing. Okay, so now that we've sort of established what the problem is at the moment, I'm going to show you how you go about sorting this and actually making your files backwards compatible. So what I need to do first of all is go back into Maya 2015 and I'm going to save this file in a different way. So I'm going to go to File, Save Scene As, but this time instead of saving it as a Maya binary file, which is what I did the first time, I'm going to change the file type to Maya ASCII uh, and that just writes the file in a different way but it's exactly the same file. So what I'll do now is save that and now I'm going to go back into Maya 2013 I'm going to try and open it. So let's just get rid of that scene that didn't work. Okay, file, open scene. Now I do want still to tell it to ignore the version because we are still going back two versions. So I still want that box checked. And this time I'm going to open the .ma file. And there we go. It's telling me that there have been some errors that might have resulted in data loss because it is going back two versions. But if I turn on shading, you'll see that it's actually brought my file through completely intact. So that is the best and most reliable way of doing this. It's all about making sure you save in that Maya ASCII file, file type, which makes this process much more reliable. Now, there is one more thing that I just want to show you that if you are having trouble with the method I've just shown you, might also yield results. So I'm just going to go to new scene again. So this time, instead of trying to open the scene, what you can do instead is try and import. So if that didn't work for you for any reason, tell it to ignore version, get the .ma file and then try and import. And again, for me, I'm seeing exactly the same results, but sometimes this will just be slightly more reliable, sometimes, <laughs> than doing it the way I first showed you where you just try and open the file. Hopefully you found that useful. Hopefully you can now make your files a lot more backwards compatible uh, than you could before looking at this video. If you've got any questions, please uh, drop them in the comments below. If this doesn't work for you, there are other things that you can do. Drop me a comment uh, and I'll upload a video for you that shows you slightly more complicated but more successful ways of making your files backwards compatible as well. If you have found this useful, please click on the like uh, little icon there. It does help me a lot. Uh, and finally, for more videos like this, um, hit the subscribe button uh, and help my channel to continue to grow. Right, wicked. I'll leave that there then. Happy miring, and I'll see you again soon.